Hello, welcome back. It's Carla's Calorie Crush week 41. 41 weeks and I am feeling like I'm at somewhat of a standstill at the moment. It seems to be crawling. I, I think it's perhaps it's perhaps the influence of being allowed out again and being allowed to eat out again. This last week in particular I have eaten out. Full stop, I, I think I've rarely eaten in. You'll see when you look at the food diary that almost every meal apart from breakfast this week has been out and breakfast has been out as well several times. <laughs> it's lovely to be able to socialise again. It's lovely to be able to eat out. My favourite thing in the world is eating out and not having to prepare my own food and just watching the dirty plate being taken away afterwards and not being my problem. And we've always eaten out as, as economically as we can manage. So we're always going through a two for one deal or if there's a discount code or any of that, we've always done that. It's just lovely to be able to do that again. But it's not always easy to make good choices. I have more or less stayed within my calories this week. I set myself an easier day for, I think it was for Monday. It might have been Monday and Wednesday, I'm not sure now. On NutriCheck, you can set yourself easier days. So if you know, for example, that there's a day of the week when you always go out, you can have an easier day that day. And what it does is it shaves a few calories off the other days of the week to give you a few extra on that day. I think I set myself one for last Monday, based on the fact that, as we said before, I seem to be overeating on Mondays because it's weigh-in day and it feels like a free day. And I don't really want to do that, but I thought I would try the easier day thing. And I more or less stayed within my calories the rest of the week. I'm recording this on Tuesday morning again, simply because I did not get round to it yesterday. I had a really weird day yesterday when everything seemed to take 14 times as long as usual. I don't know if it was the mentality of it being a bank holiday Monday, and perhaps I felt like I shouldn't have to work on bank holiday Mondays. If you're self-employed, there's no such thing as a bank holiday. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so I'm recording this on Tuesday and yesterday being Monday was difficult again, but really that's not this week's problem because I'd already weighed by then. I weigh on a Monday morning regardless. But yesterday I was snack central. And it is, again, I've said it before, it is snacks that are the problem. The meals out which I'm having, although it's not easy to make good choices, I am mostly making good choices and I would be within calories if they were the only issue. They're not. It's meals out and snacking as well. And my snacking is getting really silly again. I think the only way is to stop buying the things that I'm not having the control over. So, for example, the Twix Top Biscuits. They're only about a hundred and something each, but I'm eating three or four because I like them so much. So stop buying those, Carla. Stop buying the Burton's Fish and Chips packets. They're 128 per bag. That's not too bad as long as you only eat one bag. So yeah, stop buying those, Carla. Stop buying the things that you are snacking on and start trying to think fruit again. I've eaten more strawberries again this week. I did manage to find some decent strawberries and I've eaten more of those this week. And I've just remembered that I've got a melon in the fridge that I haven't even cut up yet. I'm going to try harder to A, snack less and B, snack healthier. I think the unhealthy snacks are, are sneaking in. And although I'm choosing low, cal low calorie ones, Almost in my head, it's like, if it's low calorie, you can have six. Doesn't really work that way, does it? Aside from that, I've had a fairly positive week. This really is helping. I've, I've talked about this. I know that I wanted to say, I know a lot of you ordered these because a lot of you said in the comments, oh, I'm going to order one. If you have, I'd love to see pictures of yours. So there's an email address under all, on all my videos. And if you, if you want to email, you don't, have, you don't have to have your face in it. I'd love to share them on my channel, the pictures of bracelets people have chosen. But if you don't want your face in it, just send a picture of the bracelet or your wrist or whatever, you know. I would love to see what you guys have gone, have, have, have gone for. I know that some of you have bought things for other reasons than weight loss. So, because Notch do a huge range of um, masses and masses of different things that you can buy bracelets for. I'm going to link them below again, as, as always. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back and watch last week's Calorie Crush. I will attempt to put that here. I'm not very good at this part. We'll see if anything appears here or not. And you can go back and watch last week's Calorie Crush to see what I'm talking about. But it is this absolutely stunning Notch Achievement Bracelet. As I said, if you've ordered one, please do send me a picture of it when it arrives. I'd love to see them and I'd love to share them in maybe a little montage on the channel. That'd be so good. I did order this week as well some pure heavenly chocolate. I featured it in my weekly waffle. I paid for this myself, but they are little bars of dairy-free, gluten-free, only 2% sugar, palm oil-free and soy-free chocolate. And they come in a range of different flavours. I can't remember how many there are. I've, um, I've eaten one of those. I've eaten one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven flavours. I'm going to sneeze and I'm back. 
Um, they are 128 calories per bar and I have a referral code for them which I will put underneath the video and they often have discounts on their website. If you use my referral code I think I get a little a little commission. Don't worry if you don't want to that's absolutely fine. I'm just I have to I have to tell you that that's a fact for um, advertising standard laws. I'm not telling you that I get a commission to make you do it. I'm telling it because I have to do transparency. It's, it's the law that if I if if there's any kind of incentive for that for me I have to tell you. Um, but yeah, so the links underneath if you want to use. I'm really enjoying those. I've, I've enjoyed every flavour I've tried. Three so far, the coconut, the salted caramel and the silk. And I've enjoyed them all so far. So if you're looking for a low calorie chocolate alternative, that might work for you. Let's have a look at the food diary. You can see what I've eaten. There was a couple of days when I didn't seem to have footage. When I, I don't know what's going on at the moment. There was certainly one day when I didn't take my phone out with me and I filmed it on Natalie's phone. That's in there. But there's been a couple of meals when I've gone, well, I remember filming this. I remember recording it. It's possible that I've done my usual thing where I don't press the bloody record button. That's possible. But anyway, I've put all the meals in. So I've put a little slide in if I didn't have the footage. Have a look at the food diary. And after that, I will hop on the scales. I've got a later breakfast on Monday and higher calories than usual because I'm going to the gym at half past two so I don't really want to eat before I go to the gym so I'm thinking a higher calorie breakfast now about 11ish and then food after the gym so it is a wrap and in there there is um, a folded egg omelette one egg one piece of smoked bacon one hash brown one cheesy single slice thing and some ketchup lunch tuna cucumber sandwich boiled eggs and fruit salad Dinner, Tesco's braised steak meal with broccoli, carrots, followed by oppo salted caramel ice cream. Breakfast on Tuesday. Waffles, strawberries, chock shot, a little bit of sweetener because the strawberries were a bit sharp today. It is lunch in the car today because I'm on my way to see a friend. So I've got, I popped in Greg's, I've got a ham and egg roll, 337 calories. I've got some quavers. Quavers are 107. But I've also got a pink donut that's only 225. So I think I'm going to have the donut instead of the quavers. The quavers can keep for another day and have my donut instead. And I've got a bottle of water somewhere. I think it's under my handbag. Evening meal, Subway, turkey dress and ham salad. Lunch on Wednesday is active fried chips, 300 grams of potatoes and two dry fried eggs. I've spent the entire day shoving snacks into my face like a woman possessed. How I've got, even got the cheek to open the hole under my nose and put anything else in this evening, I do not know. But my evening meal is a chicken and mango wrap. There's a little bit of salad in there, but the salad's gone a bit manky. So coleslaw, a Dairy Lee Dunker and some fruity biscuit Whitworth shots. Um, I don't know if I'm over calories for today or not, to be honest. <laughs> Breakfast on Thursday is porridge with banana and coconut chocolate. My lunch, um, which I'm filming on that phone because I've left my phone at home. Steak, jacket potato, salad, mushroom and tomato, which I will eat. Even meal, just a bit of a small one. Some mixed salad leaves, some barbecue chicken and some coleslaw because I'm going to the gym and I don't want to be too full. I've got a few calories left. So this is kind of the second half of my tea that I didn't have earlier. I've just got strawberries with yogurt and chocolate. Breakfast on Friday is 140 grams of apple, 85 grams of easy peeler, 100 grams of strawberry, 60 grams of plums and 100 grams of yoghurt with chock shot. A very late lunch was a carvery roast dinner. A late dinner jacket potato, cheese and beans. Breakfast on Saturday is um, mushrooms, bacon, two eggs, sausage, hash brown and beans. Evening meal, gammon, eggs and salad. Sunday's breakfast was Toby Carvery, bacon, sausage, mushrooms, two eggs and potato hash. Dinner. Dinner at the pub with me mother, look. Where's my mother? 
Which is, I've got roast beef, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, I've, 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 I've uh, gravy, and then the veggie yeah, over there. I'll that. get, I'll get it now, Mum. Don't worry. I've got strawberries with squirty cream and chocolate sauce. It's Monday, it's scales time. Dead on 294, which is exactly 21 stone, which means I still haven't bloody got under 21 stone. It's half a pound off. It should be chuffed, shouldn't I? Half a pound off. It just feels so very slow. And looking at the food diary, I know why. I know why. I've eaten too many meals out, too much processed food, even things like gravy. Gravy has a lot of salt in it. The more salt you eat, the more you will retain water. I'm not blaming all of this on retaining water. As there's a brilliant clip from Billy Connolly where it says, um, where he talks about people who are overweight blaming it on water, retaining water. I'm sure it's Billy Connolly. I'm becoming less sure. And he says, it's not water, it's pies. You're retaining pies. If I want to find things to blame for this, I had a period this week. I went to the gym this week and, you know, if you if you work your muscles, then then you, you often retain water. Blah, 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 blah. I've eaten too many snacks. There is absolutely no point finding things to blame it on. It's this thing here and this thing here that carries things. That's what we're blaming it on. I've eaten too many snacks. I need to stop bloody snacking. But half a pound off is half a pound off. I'm not, I'm not knocking that. It means that I can switch my half pound here. Can you guys see that? Is it too far away? I can take my half pound off, swap it for a one pound, takes me up to a six stone two pounds loss ain't no complaining about that i've lost six stone and two pounds i weigh exactly 21 stone <laughs> i really want to get under 21 stone i'll be honest with you i hop on the scales a couple of times during the week and i hopped on the scales first thing monday morning without having my camera with me and i was 20 stone 13 and 13.8 or something that's under the 21 stone but because i always round up to the nearest half a pound anyway it still would have been 21 stone <laughs> but when i got back on a couple of hours later with my camera in hand i'd gone back up to 21 stone anyway <laughs> who am i trying to kid i'm not under 21 stone yet but i will be i will get there i'm gonna work really hard this week on the snacking maybe sew my mouth up Maybe cut my hands off. Maybe get an athlete to tie my hands behind my back and I'll walk my I probably would just peck at snacks like a demented chicken. <laughs> I will do better. I will be better. I am better. I've been to the gym again. I think I told you last week I'd been for the first time. I've been the second time. I wanted to go this weekend, but because it's a council leisure centre, it was closed after 2.30pm on Saturday, Sunday and on Bank Holiday Monday and I wasn't able to go before those times. So I'm going again tonight. So I've been twice. The second time I went, I achieved more. Um, that's already in the waffle, so you've probably seen that already. But the second time I went, I was able to do more. I did get on the cross trainer. One of you, I think it was Cassie. I'm looking at you, Cassie. I think you said in the comments that the cross trainer is the easiest thing. Are you Iron Man? Because I managed three minutes on the cross trainer and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> got on I gaily set it for five minutes I thought I'd just do five minutes since it's my first go I did one minute and I was like this is a bit difficult I did two minutes and I was like this is extremely I did three minutes I was like I need to get off I'm going to die I'm going to collapse and die so I did three minutes next time I go I'll do four minutes or maybe three and a half or three minutes ten seconds I will build up I will do more I will get the hang of it I've got sports gear now I bought I managed to get a sports bra that fitted in the end. I've got a couple of sports vests. One came from the charity shop. I got some leg some sports leggings finally um, because I only had one pair of leggings and they had a hole and I was a bit alarmed that people might notice bits of me hanging out through the holes. <laughs> um, I got a waterproof gym bag to take stuff in. I've got no excuse. I've got all the gear. <laughs> I'm using, a, using an excuse to buy myself treats. I've, I said this to Lex because Lex was like, you don't need to buy stuff. You can just go on what you've got. And I was like, I feel that if I buy the proper stuff I will tell myself well you've got to go now because you spent this money on this stuff so hopefully that's my incentive I'm booked in tonight I think I'm booked for 8 30 tonight we'll check actually because um, I'm not sure but yeah I'm booked in to go, to go tonight so I'm gonna try and try hopefully try to go to the gym at least twice a week and maybe go a swim as well when I work out their swim schedule and see if I can fit around it I've rambled on
thank you for watching thank you for your unending support i appreciate all of, all of you i will be back next week with week 42 of carla's calorie crush and i will I will be under 21 stone next week. Even if I've only lost another half a pound, I'll still be under 21 stone, won't I? We're not having a gain. We're not doing that. Mm. Buddy's come to see what I'm growling about. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.